Do you see that letter right there? That is from my, I'm going to be sending to my attorney. Postage paid, of course. That is a certificate. Hand that certificate in to the courts. And I am officially done. So I am going to go out right now and mail this. <laughs> Even though it's Sunday, I'm going to go over to that mailbox right now. <laughs> the power, the power of prayer. Do you know what I was doing last evening? Uh, ooh, spooky. Uh, it's getting dark. I guess Grandma's gonna have to hurry. <laughs> I was praying on this very subject. I said this to the Lord, Lord, I thank you so much that my certificate is, 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 it's, it's, it's here. I thank you so much that the certificate is here and that I'm going to sign it and mail it back right away. I said that last night. And when I checked my mail when I first came in, there was no mail. I must have been, I must have checked it just a bit too early. But here it is. I'm so happy that I get to share this with you. I'm going to go over to this mailbox that we uh, mailed my son's uh, birthday card to right across the way. And I found what I really would like to do is get another vehicle. And because of my situation, it'll be one of those lot situations. I have a friend of mine that's a mechanic. I'll take him with me. And basically they'll finance. I know that sounds crazy. But I'm going to let you guys go just for now. And I'll be right back. Welcome back my friends. We are approaching the mailbox. Ever feel like a loser? Every time you turn around, it seems like something's going wrong. Well, the devil told me I was a loser. I'm not a loser. Neither are you. So let's flip it to the mailbox and y'all can see me put it in there. Said mailbox. Said letter. going a couple hundred miles away, but that's the step before the last step. Now, I could have realistically probably gotten a vehicle, you know, like a loan for a vehicle, but I would have, I was still, I'm still in bankruptcy, so the, those folks want their money. And they don't want you financially obligated anymore than you have to be because they want their money first. And right off the top, right off the top, first I had to pay $750 to even to get them to schedule an appointment. And then once everything was said and done and me and probably about 200 people were in that courtroom including an office person from my job we just kind of quietly looked at each other and nodded he has since him and his wife have moved to texas they left last year i think he kind of sniffed that things weren't going to be going so well so then once they started taking the payments 
uh, get this, $367 a month for five years. $84.69 a week came out of my pay every week, whether I worked five days or three. And so now, uh, that has stopped. And so I was waiting, I'm crossing the streets so while I'm turning like this. So I was waiting and waiting and uh, I called them up and they said, well, you're gonna be receiving a certificate. You sign that thing, it'll be turned into the courts and you'll be officially done. But getting back to the, um, the vehicle I could have gotten, I would have had to get permission from the court and something said, no, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm glad I did not do it because of what has occurred with my job and a lot of the time, you know, having hours cut. <laughs> it would have been a horrible situation. But how many of you know that you listen to your heavenly father? Your daddy knows best. Daddy knows best. Remember the old show? Very few of you will. Daddy knows best. Father knows best. Yeah. It's evening time. I am normally not out here at this time, so you see me hustling to get out of here. I'm trying to get back. Because you don't want to be out here. You don't. So we are crossing the last big street. See how quickly I made it over there? <laughs> Isn't it amazing how fast you can move when you really have to? <laughs> so yeah. Let's take a look at this sign here right quick. As I walk, I'm trying to look back at it. Sorry for the noise. It's 8.09 p.m. It is 83 degrees. Isn't that great? So you, it will soon get quiet. We are approaching the complex. Or as I jokingly say to some of my coworkers that live here, let's go back to our condominium. The cook is cooking supper and the butler's drawn my bath and I'm ready to go in and get into my silk pajamas. <laughs> kind of funny. When I was a child, I, I grew up in what they call the housing projects. As a child, it was loads of fun. How many of you know when you're little, and as long as your belly is full and your mom hugs you goodnight, do you think that your life is normal? It is not until you start going to school that you realize where, what your station is in life. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for coming with me. It's a great day. Bye.